Oh, didn't see you there. Just practicing my water bottle flipping skills. But well, what is it that makes the water bottle flip so appealing to the internet? Well, as any amateur water bottle flipper will tell you, it's all about the water. It's all about the amount of water. One third to be exact. You want to fill your bottle to one third of the height of the bottle. And the reason for this is twofold. The first part is that it lowers the center of gravity of the bottle. So as you can see here, here's a bottle with a low center of gravity denoted by that red dot. And you can see that this center of gravity pushes down on the bottle and the table pushes up on the bottle and this writes the bottle. So lowering the center of gravity of the bottle basically makes it easier for the bottle to get into an upright position after it lands. As you can see on this full bottle, the high center of gravity makes the bottle want to tip over. So the first reason, lower center of gravity. The second reason is to optimize the fluid dynamics of the bottle. So basically, when you're throwing a bottle, you're imparting some rotation on the bottle. And when you have one third of the amount of water, the water can kind of slosh around in the bottle. So as you can see, when the bottle is sideways, it has some rotation in this direction following this arrow, but the water is pushing back in this direction following the blue arrow, meaning that the bottle will slow down and actually have more time in the window where it is upright and able to land. I have a full bottle. Watch as I try and spin this bottle. You'll notice that it doesn't slow down. See, it didn't slow down. There was really no chance of me making it. Very small. Now, watch as I use this bottle filled to the ideal one-third amount. A perfect throw. So now that you know the science behind the perfect water bottle flip, you can amaze your friends, your family, the ladies.